Hi folks, time for another shaky cam review from me, although hopefully this time slightly better video quality because I've borrowed an iPhone 4S instead of using my iPhone 4 with its dodgy camera. So what I want to talk to you about this time is the low pro uh, back camera backpack that I have, it's the Fast Pack 250. Not the 250AW, which is the model that replaced this model recently, but the regular Fastpak 250. So, the first thing to say is that I think I understand why um, this backpack has been replaced with a new model. It has some shortcomings, and the most dramatic of which is that it doesn't have support for a tripod. Um, although you've probably noticed there's a tripod hanging off the side of my bag here. As in, right here. So that was done through some ingenuity I discovered on YouTube uh, and the use of a cheap bungee cord which cost me one euro. So basically the bag does come with a water bottle holder down here. So what you do is you let's take it out. So you start off by taking the tripod and opening it up and sticking in two legs like that into the water bottle holder. Then you grab the bungee and you hook it around the handle. Then you take it and you stick it underneath one leg of the tripod. And I've done that wrong. You stick it underneath one leg of the tripod like so. Then you bring it around. It's very important that it go underneath the two back straps. And then you go around. And you hook it onto the other side of the handle. So you have a hook, a hook, around the tripod, underneath the legs, and then underneath the straps at the back and then put this leg down in there too and then tighten that up okay so that's that now let's take off the tripod then so the addition that was made to this bag in the new model there was a few additions most of them are cosmetic but the big change that they added a strap that starts here and ends behind where the tripod is here. And that addition of that one little strap is enough to get rid of the bag's biggest failing, which is that it wouldn't hold a tripod. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect the tripod and set it up so I can mount the camera on it for the rest of this review. So, one moment. Okay, so I've now mounted the camera onto the tripod since I've taken that off the bag. So this is the rest of the bag, which is all packed up the way I would normally use it. So the first thing to say is that the straps and stuff on the back are all very comfortable, so you have good, strong padding, solid, comfortable padding on the back, good, thick, solid straps, and the strap around your waist, which is all very important. Um, there's also more room in this bag than I need for just my camera gear, so it gives me some room for whatever else I might need or whatever else trip I happen to be going on. So we start off with the coolest feature of the bag, which is the reason I like it so much. It has a quick access camera pouch. This one zip, there is your camera, and there is nothing in there that can fall out, but it is just the camera compartment. So that's the first thing. So, Nikon T5100. Now what I will say is this pouch is designed to hold a very large camera, much larger than a consumer camera like this one. It will hold a you know, 5D Mark II or something with battery grip. So in order to stop mine rattling around, I had to add in a lot of padding, which we'll look at in more detail in a bit. So, the next thing you have then is this front pouch which stops the whole thing opening. So there's a handy compartment here, in which I don't have it anywhere near full, I just have my lens cleaning stuff. So my lens brush, fluid, my fiber cloth, that kind of stuff in here. There's room for a lot more in here. So close that over, and then you have access to the rest of the camera compartment. So, first thing I have is 55 to 200 millimeter lens and my 30 millimeter f1.4 prime. 
And again, in order to just get those two lenses in comfortably, I had to use quite a bit of padding. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod for just a moment, excuse me. So in order to get the camera to sit safely and comfortably, I've basically added three blocks of padding. So one at the bottom and one at each side. So the camera now sits snugly and comfortably in here without rattling around, without that padding. Utterly unworkable for a camera of this size, which is a fairly normal camera. And then again for the lenses, I had to pad the bottoms of these very deep compartments so that they would not rattle around while I was walking around with the bag. So I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod. Okay, so that's the main part and also the charger. The head of the tripod that you're now looking at me with and also my glyph for mounting the iPhone onto the tripod would normally be in here too, along with the USB. Then here, I have my lens blower and the world's dinkiest little tripod, which I would usually use for the iPhone. And then my mic for when I'm doing video with the D5100 is the Nikon ME1, and that actually sits on the touch you. So that's everything I have in the lower compartment. Which then leaves a whole other compartment where I don't actually have that much stuff. Which is why there's some room in the bag. So the first thing is there's a compartment here that I'm simply not using around. And then there's the top compartment where I have laptop charger. Upholstery waterproofs. This is Ireland. And uh, various things needed to make the bike go, should anything go horribly wrong en route. And then there's a lot of room up here for many more things which I'm not using at the moment. And there's a lot more room up here for whatever else I might need for whatever particular trip I'm going on. And then the last thing, which I find stunning, is that this bag has here in a proper compartment, very well padded, room for a 17 inch MacBook Pro, which is by no means a small laptop. So, camera gear, chargers, USB leads, microphones, little tripod, charger, laptop, bicycle repair stuff, waterproofs, and plenty of spare room, all in a nice bike. So, apart from having to spend quite a bit of time padding it out, and having to improvise tripod holding by use of a bungee, pretty good bike, and also very good value for money.